Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out, which are typically around 9, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if it feels like I'm talking about you, you need to check yourself because I'm only talking about bad women that do bad things to good guys and teach the good guys how to spot the bad women. Nigga, what? If you're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to the second channel, both are below in the description. And could you go ahead and hit the notifications bu button for me right now? All right, today I'm going to be reacting to a video of a 34-year-old guy. Him and his wife adopted a teenager, but his wife ended up leaving him for the teenager that they adopted. This is a sad story. Let's get to it. I'm in a youth home, um, so that was part of the reason that we were helping this kid. Um, I had several people through the years that have helped me out um, in similar ways, um, and I just wanted to kind of give back and be there for somebody else like so many have been for me. One thing that I want to say this is how a lot of you guys get caught up. You want to be super duper duper nice guy. You're always trying to find the good out of a situation. You're always putting yourself out there to be useful and helpful to other people. All right. And I told you guys, sometimes in life, you have to be selfish. It's not designed for everybody in the world to be perfect. It's not designed for everybody in the world to be rich. But if you go through emotional things, you have a tendency to turn around and want to return the favor, but sometimes the favor doesn't always favor you, especially in a situation like this. So a lot of you nice guys out there, you just have to learn to be selfish. It's not meant for you to make sure everybody in the world is happy. And that's a big downfall for a lot of men that do get hurt by women because you're always looking for the good in a situation. Um. So basically we moved this kid in February and um, we were helping him through his senior year of high school, uh, his last semester and trying to uh, kind of give him the family that he never had, so to speak. Um, he eventually started calling me dad, calling her mom. We looked into kind of the adoption process to give our last name to him. That's a mistake on his end as well, guys. Like he's already in high school. He's already technically a grown man. That should have been a sign that he looked at right there. Like, this is not a little boy. In a year, he's going to be a grown man. He's going to be on his own. So she's able to take advantage of that. But he should have looked at it too. Like, well, this guy could go fill out paperwork down at the federal building. And he can actually become an adult at 17 years old. And you guys wouldn't have to do that. I understand. Somebody helped him out when he was younger. But guys, we got to think. He's already of age. Why would you want to adopt a adult just because you feel like you're helping him out, but you're overlooking the entire fact that that's actually another man that's in your house that's younger than you and women love younger men. Why? It's more manipulative. Um, and eventually <clears throat> started seeing some things that were not cool. Um, the way they were interacting, spending time together alone. Um, no matter how many times that I tried to have a conversation with them about it um, separately together all the way around, you know, it was, I was making too big of a deal of things. And um, right then and there, he should have been following his guts. His guts already led to him telling him, yo, something is going wrong here. So he starts to question it. Everyone's telling him that he's overthinking the situation, but this is a prime example of what you guys have to learn to do. You have to learn to just follow your guts and go along with what your intuition is telling you. Because if you continue to try to find the good in the situation, the people around you already know that. When you're a weak person, everybody knows you're weak. That's why they're going to call you to use you. They're going to cause you to they're going to call you to do things that you don't want to do. But the person out there that you would redeem as a bad person he doesn't go through the struggles that you go through. You get to sit back and watch the bad guy get everything in life that he wants. But when you're trying to be the ultimate good person in life, you're going to always get the short end of the stick and you're going to always be treated bad because in reality, the strong always overpower the weak, no matter what, no matter what they say, we're still mammals. 
It's still going to be an alpha and beta mindset no matter what. You're always going to have dominant people and you're going to have submissive people. It's just that we have way more submissive people than we have dominant people nowadays, especially in men. Basically, there was nothing going on. Um, it wasn't until um, mid-May, early June that I started finding out what was really happening. Um, they'd been having, they were in a relationship um, and I don't know to what extent they were involved, um, but since about mid to end April, <laughs> And they ended up moving out together in June um, to go live with her parents. All right. They ended up moving out of the house. Her and the adopted teenager moved out of the house and moved in with their parents. Now, understand what's going on here. Moving in with the parents, everybody else is already on board. Why is everybody else on board? Because when a woman gets ready to make her moves, she finds another weak person to manipulate. When you have a daughter and you have parents, it's easy for the daughter to manipulate the parents because the parents always want the best for their child. Parents are going to always go along with the children, especially whenever it comes to women. And once women get inside of other people's heads, then that's where the man starts to look bad. So her parents know this is a good guy, but somewhere down the road, she has convinced him that, hey, something is going wrong with this guy. And I would rather be with the young teenager instead of being at home with my two kids that I already have with my husband. And I tell you guys, women live their life based off emotions, off emotions. This is why you don't ask them for dating advice and you don't ask them for business advice. It's because they only know how to talk about certain subjects and they know how to victimize themselves to get ahead. I've said this numerous of times. If you take away gossip, you take away sex, and you take away victimization from a woman, she has no type of power whatsoever. As long as a woman can look at another person in the eyes, she could convince them to do whatever it is she wants, especially if it's a weak person and this is how they live. Not all women, just most. Um, she left first in the middle of the night um, and he followed a couple days later. Um, again, under the premise that nothing was going on. Just want to know how to proceed forward with this. So um, at every step of the way through this process, her parents have been there. They're paying for her divorce attorney. Um, they have housed him, given him a truck, paid for him to do things. Um, just completely supported them in every way possible. That's a sad situation to where his wife leaves him for a teenager and the parents are fully supporting him. They bought him a truck. They're supporting him on the houses and he's just by himself going through a, a divorce. What guys need to learn from this, you know what type of woman you got, man. Come on. You know exactly what type of woman you're dealing with. But what you guys say is, you say, it's because of the other guys that she's acting like this. So I'm going to treat her good to where she looks at me completely different. This guy felt so comfortable in his relationship with her that he was comfortable enough bringing another man in the house into thinking that their relationship was strong enough to not break. But when you're dealing with a teenager who's dysfunctional, who's coming from a broken home to the point where you have to adopt them, he's going to have a red pill mindset. His red pill mindset means that he can't be conquered. His emotions are going to be all over the place. One day he's going to be happy. One day he's going to be sad. And when a man has that much adrenaline and testosterone running through his body, then he has a tendency to bang a woman out. He can sex her really, really good. Most guys who are confused have really, really good sex. Most guys who are dysfunctional have really, really good sex. Once a man is able to get a woman through sex, he can conquer her all over. That's what a woman would a woman would tell you. If you lay the pipe down, they're not going to care how much money you have. Your money would never override the dominant seat of a man. Nowadays, women do not care about your money. They don't care if you're rich. They don't care about your clothes. They don't care about your car. The only thing that a woman cares about is dominancy now, whether she's going to get it from a young man or whether she's going to get it from an older guy because this overdose on blue pill and overdose on nice guys are driving them crazy. That's what a lot of you men are not understanding. You don't ever get advice from a woman. Never. Because her advice is going to change from hour to hour. All right, I got another video here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and break this down. This is off of 
TikTok. Attention. While every woman looks for attention, some take the game a little bit too far, especially in the workplace where you have an open office. And she wants when the boys are coming to the office, she's the first one to receive a whisper or some flattery. She wants to show the other girls that men are charmed by her presence. Her desire for attention may make her go the extra mile and sleep with such a person so that that one is not denied. Number 10 and the last one, greed for power. There are some women who simply cannot take the staircase. They want to take the elevator to the top. So they don't mind sleeping with a boss for promotion, for a plump job or a powerful position because they don't want to grow slowly on their career progress. In the interest of my own safety, I want to stop there and go to number two. Hopefully you guys are able to get the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe. Definitely go ahead and hit that notifications button right now. Hasta la vista.